Hi, Steve here from Steve's Internet Guide and in this video we're going to take a, a quick look at uh, IP addresses. Now, what is an IP address? Well, every device attached to a computer network uh, on the internet or a local network uh, has an IP address. Now, Wiki defines the an IP address as such. A, a, uh, it's a numerical label assigned to a device, e.g. a computer or printer, participating in a computer network using the internet protocol. Um, hence the term IP stands for internet protocol. Now there are actually two versions of the internet protocol or IP. They are IP version 4 and IP version 6. Now IP4, uh, IP4 is the one um, currently deployed across the internet and across home and corporate networks. It's been around since the the start of the internet and it's undoubtedly the one you're using to to watch this video. Now IP4 uses 32 bits for addressing and 32 bits was uh, considered uh, adequate when IP4 was designed. However, they did never anticipated the internet and the rapid growth of the internet and since 2013 um, all IP4 addresses have been allocated so there are no more uh, free IP4 addresses available. That didn't stop the growth of the internet or the growth of computer networks because a technique called NAT basically gave new life to IP4 by allowing the use of uh, private IP addresses inside networks, inside home networks and corporate networks. So the IP address you're probably using to watch this video is an IP4 address and it's a, a private IP4 address. I have another video where I talk about private and public IP addresses or internal and external uh, addresses and I'll put a, a link to that in the, the video notes at the bottom. Now, IP4 will eventually be replaced by IP6 when? Uh, I don't know, and it's probably not going to be for another 10 years, maybe even 15 years. Now, IP4 uses, sorry, IP6 uses 128 bits uh, for the address space, which is considered at the moment inexhaustible, um, so they don't anticipate having to extend that address range. Obviously with 128 bits you can accommodate a lot more hosts than you can with 32 bits. The rollout of IP4, IP6 across the internet is, is happening slowly. Uh, say that I, I'm not aware of any definite cutoff date for IP4 and IP4 is likely to be with us for, for many years to come. I would say for at least 10, probably 15 years and, and, and maybe more. IP4, IP addresses in general are logical addresses. Um, they're assigned by a network administrator and in which case they're called static addresses. More commonly though they're auto assigned using a service called DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The important thing to note about IP addresses though is that they aren't fixed. So the, div the IP address of your device isn't fixed so today you could have one IP address and tomorrow it could have a different IP address. So let's have a quick look at um, these IP addresses. Now IP6 uses 128 bits and we usually represent them as a, an hexadecimal number and you can see that here and they're split into blocks uh, four and each separated by a colon as shown here and there's another block of four with the colon and another block of four with the colon. And IP4 uses 28 bits um, and they we use um, four blocks of eight and separate them with a decimal so it's known as a dotted decimal format and you can see that here 192.168.1.154 each one of these 154 is 8 bits. I'm not going to go into the actual addressing themselves that's a topic for another video as it gets quite involved and and just a quick summary all devices on a computer network have an IP address an IP address is simply a number there are two IP address versions in current use. There are IP4, uh, that's the most common one, and IP version 6. You'll find most modern devices will have an IP4 address and an IP6 address. IP4 is currently the one being used on home and small office and on corporate networks. Now for reference, um, if you go to the website, um, to this URL, you'll find some notes on IP addresses and you'll also find some other resources that you might find interesting, some other tutorials you might find interesting. 
that's the end of this video uh, if you have any comments on the video uh, use the comments form below uh, if you like the video then use the like button below if you want to be notified of any new videos on this channel then you can subscribe to it if you go over to the website you can also subscribe to the newsletter if you're interested uh, until the next time